all right folks how you doing um so i listened to a bunch of people's comments on my iron relics video where i found the axe heads and i decided to get an electrolysis setup i got a battery charger um all the fixings for it so i'm cooking some stuff right now i'll go over all that stuff with you and show you how i'm doing it basically from watching bunch of people's videos and everything and showing you how I'm setting it up I've already tried it a couple of times works great so let's go over it first thing I bought this big tarp here um, the girlfriend won't let me do this in the house so I had to compromise and I got this in case it rains because I don't want to mess up the uh, battery charger but let's go over here and check the setup up here is the battery charger and this is the only manual one I could find. I have another one ordered that's a little more powerful. Um, but it does, sorry about that locust. Um, 6 volts, 6 amps, 12 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts, 6 amps. Um, and that's pretty fine for what I'm doing here. I'm not doing gigantic stuff. I'm just doing small stuff. And I got two things cooking right now. An old skeleton key lock plate and a lock which I'm not sure what kind it is um, but I believe it to be a master lock from what some of y'all told me on the video um, and this is what I'm using as my sacrificial piece of metal just a steel bar picked it up for like a dollar um, it's real long in there and um, seems to be working good you can see all the bubbles in there all the rust coming off it's only been in right now for probably 10 minutes and a lot of stuff's already come off this one I shocked already for about three hours the other day and got majority of it off um, and this one here is brand new in there I have a screw in the bottom I don't know if you can see it but it's connected to a screw to get a nice good connection on there wasn't able to get a screw in the lock but knocked a little piece off and hopefully it'll be all right um, here is basically the setup with the leads. I made these. I bought, um, let's see here, wire cutter. I got the 12 gauge wire. Um, I got a red and a black just so I don't confuse myself. It doesn't really matter the colors. You just need to make sure one's connected to positive. That goes on to your sacrifice the sacrificial piece of metal and your negative which you kind of have to have leads for going into the water um, otherwise you're going to corrode these and the alligator clips of the positive will corrode it's already starting to corrode um, being in the water like that um, but that one will be all right and I just have them hooked up the negatives which are black and the positive which is red and I put them as close as I possibly could there I'm gonna have to turn them um, I could put another one on the back side there but I'm just gonna turn them um, because the closer it is the quicker it'll work because you can see it's bubbling quite a bit on this side and not as much back here there are some bubbles but not a whole lot so I will twist it around later and we'll get a nice clean even pattern on there and I'll flip them as well um, because when I did this one before the lock plate there the bottom of it was not as cooked as much and using this arm and a hammer baking soda and for this amount of water here I'm not even sure how much this is 12 quarts you can see how much I filled it up like about a quarter of the way up there I put a half a cup of baking soda in there and you got the bubbles and it seems to be doing just fine with that amount. And before I forget, um, this is a manual battery charger. If you get an automatic, they will shut off um, because they're smarter than these manual ones and it will not, no, it will know that it is not connected to a battery. So may come on and start working for a while but it will stop working um, you can trick them into thinking the battery's connected but I'm not sure how you do that um, and you can see the amps there um, I got it cooking at 12 volts 6 amps right now I'm kind of blasting it um, to get the initial rust off of it um, but 
You can see the needle come down. That's two amps, 12 volts, and that's six volts, six amps. I'll probably turn it down to that later, but you can see the bubbles kind of dissipate. Let me turn it up. And you can see the real bubbles really start to go then at the uh, 12 volt and 6 amp. That's the highest this one will do. But after we cook it for a couple hours, I'll get a hammer out and show you the somewhat finished process. We still need to make sure all the rust is off, hammer it down, and I'm probably going to do a paraffin coating on them eventually um, probably not in this video but we will show you once they are cooked okay we've been in for about an hour and a half I mean this is hard to do one hand give me one second here we are unplugged and we are gonna try to bang some rust off this lock Wow, it did a lot on its own. Let's just bring it right here. It's got some bad pitting on it though. But it is starting to come clean a little bit. So, I'll bang on it some more and we'll try to get it cleaner. I'm gonna change the water out. I wanna show you the rust. All oh, that rust in the bottom there. So it definitely works pretty darn good at getting rust off. Just changing the water. Sitting right here. I'll put them back in in a little bit, but I flipped this side. This side's looking pretty darn good. It's starting to flake off. I whacked all the big stuff with the hammer, but you could not see that skeleton keyhole before. Now you can see right through it. Alright, guys, I just want to show you what it looks like now while I still got a little bit of light. Both of these were completely encrusted in iron. They've been in for about three hours now. And we're looking a lot better. I can actually see bare iron underneath. Something's shaking around inside there. Sorry, there's mosquitoes all over the place. But I think just a little bit longer and we will be golden. Just need to get a little bit more of that surface rust off. Very cool. We can actually see through the keyhole there. Ooh. Sweet. Love that. And this, I don't think, turned out to be as old as I thought it is. So I can see, like, horizontal lines in it. So I think it's just a master lock. Maybe you can see the lines there. Could have been off the railroad, I don't know, but can't quite see you the key yet probably not that old don't know though we'll have to wait till it's completely cleaned up but we are starting to get down to bare metal this thing was completely encoded in iron this whole inner thing you couldn't see through it was probably had a half inch rust caked all the way around it in three hours and it looks like this that is pretty darn good <laughs> 